Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Dr. Hemlata and in this video we will see how to obtain the estimates using stratified random sampling in R. So for this first we will install the package sampling book and then further we will work under this package. So uh, after installing the package we will load this by library function and let's say we are we will work with the empty cast data set. It is the well known data set in, in R. Okay so we will use this data set. So if you don't have any idea about what is given in this empty cast data set so you can type question mark empty cars and then you can go to the help of this empty cars function empty cars data set so as you can see when i run this it will take us to the help of empty cars here all the details about this data set is given let's say i am interested in estimating this miles miles per gallon so mileage of cars per gallon okay by stratifying the population so let's say i i am interested i will divide my population on the 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 type of engine used in the car so as you can see it is uh, the type of engine is given in the column uh, vs so i will stratify my population on the basis of this vs in the vs there are two categories uh, zero means v-shaped engine and one means straight type engine okay so i will divide my population in two stratum um, zero and one v-shaped engine and straight type engine in the cars and then we will uh, then i will estimate the the population mean that is the the average mileage of cars okay so for this i am going to use this strata sample function uh, to calculate the sample size um, as in the stratified sampling we have different types of allocations and based on the uh, different type of allocations we allocate the sample size to the stratums so for the allocation of sample size uh, just to calculate the sample size uh, how much we should allocate into the different different stratum i will use strata samp function and this function works under this sampling book that's why i have already installed this package and then i will work with this function so if you want to know what are the arguments for this strata samp you can go to the help of this so uh, you can see uh, there are many arguments for this n is the sample size so that we should know in in uh, uh, earlier how much should be the total sample size that sh we should be we should decide earlier and nh is the total stratum size n1 and n2 capital n1 and capital n2 sh is the uh, standard deviations of the population stratum ch is the vector of cost uh, for per unit of collecting the per unit from the hth stratum and then the type of allocation which type of allocation we are going to use so by default it is proportional allocation but there are different uh, types of allocation in stratified sampling optimum allocation so if we want to allocate the sample size by using optimum allocation then we will write type is equal to opt another one is cost optimum we can also use this cost optimum also if we have the the cost associated um, for per unit um, collection um, if from the HF stratum okay so for this uh, first I will um, uh, find out the stratum 1 and stratum 2 okay and the n1 and n2 and s1 and s2 for both the strata so let s the stratum 1 is my uh, the, the the data in which the cars are having uh, the straight type engine vs is equal to 1 so for this i'll use this code and then i'll run this and let's see the data of the stratum 1 so this is my data in stratum 1 this is my population of stratum 1 okay so from this you can see there are all the units are having the the straight type engine vs is equal to 1 in all the uh, rows okay so that this is my stratum 1 data similarly we can uh, find out the stratum 2 data here i have written vs is equal to 0 so it will give you the data for stratum 2 you can see this is the data for stratum 2 
vs is equal to 0 in all the rows right now let's say let us have uh, um, let us find the total stratum size so i will save this total stratum uh, size 1 um, stratum 1 in n1 so n1 is just i will sum all the units in stratum 1 and let's see how many units are there 14 so there are 14 cars which uh, in which the the vs the the uh, engine of a straight type is being used okay and the standard deviation for the the stratum one we can count we can compute by the this function square root of the variance of as we are interested in mpg so i will find out the s1 for mpg column okay from the stratum one so this will give you this is my standard deviation so this much uh, we can see so this much is the variation in the, the the mileage of the cars in the cars with straight type engine okay similarly i will do the same analysis analysis for the stratum 2 so i'll run this how many units are there in stratum 2 18 so my stratum 2 size is 18 and stratum 1 size was 14 and let's see what is s2 s2 is 3.86 so like this we can see the the um, there is more variation in the cars the mileage of the cars with straight engine than the v-shaped engine right now we can also see what is the average uh, mileage of the cars in both the stratum so if i write if i find the means for both these stratum you can see the mean for the average mileage of the cars in um, the first stratum is 24 and in second stratum it is 16 so mileage of the cars in stratum 1 was high on an average okay now after um, finding all these things n1 and n2 s1 and s2 let's say we have to draw we want to draw a sample of size 10 from both these strata so for this we need to allocate this sample size to both these strata so for allocation we will use this strata sam function okay and in strata sam function we will put this arguments n is the sample size total sample size nh is the vector of the the total stratum size that is n1 and n2 sh is the standard deviation the vector of standard deviations of both the stratum and type is proportional allocation so as uh, there are four important type of allocations to allocate the sample size in stratified sampling first one is equal allocation so in the equal allocation there is no need to do the calculations so we will equally allocate the sample to both these strata let's say uh, here if the sample size is 10 total sample size is 10 so 5 5 will be allocated to the stratum in the equal allocation but if um, if we use a proportional allocation to allocate the sample size then we will type type is equal to prop or by default it takes a proportional allocation right if you do not write this type is equal to prop so by default it will take the proportional allocation let's see how it is allocating the sample um, to the uh, both the strata so as you can see in uh, from from first stratum we should collect the sample of size 4 as it is suggesting and from stratum 2 we should collect the sample of size 6 we can also change the allocation if we use the optimum allocation then everything will remain same we will just type we will write type is equal to optimum let's see how it is allocating yeah so by the optimum allocation it is allocating the sample um, of size 5 5 both to both these stratum okay third one third method is cost optimum we can also use uh, the optim cost optimum allocation to allocate the sample but for this we need the cost per unit um, for both these stratum let's say we 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 require 200 rupees to collect one unit from the first stratum and 500 rupees uh, to collect uh, the the unit from the second stratum so it is just the vector of costs 
uh, for per unit collection uh, from both the stratum right so if i use this code then it will give the allocated sample size by using the cost optimum so as you can see from all three straight uh, methods of allocation we are getting different different size of allocations to different stratum right let's say uh, once i have allocated the sample to the different strata then i will try to estimate the population mean right now i'm taking uh, the example of this optimum allocation and in the optimum allocation it was allocating the sample like this 5 5 so i am taking the n1 the uh, sample of size 5 from first stratum and um, sample of size 5 5 from the second stratum now i will collect the sample of size 5 5 from both the stratum so sample 1 will be collected from the stratum 1 right so i'll write this code right and then let's see what are the sample units so this is my sample that is collected from the first stratum similarly i will collect a sample of size 5 from the second stratum and this is my second stratum data sample right now uh, i will combine both the samples so uh, I, I will combine and save this in total sampled data by the r bind function so to combine both the sample i will use r bind function and then i will write sample 1 and sample 2 so by combining this this is my total sample size of size 10 from both these stratum 5 units from stratum 1 and 5 units from stratum 2 right now for estimation of population mean I, I also require this NH. NH is just the vector of uh, samples allocated to the different different stratum. So I will write just S dot vector table because it 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 it, it takes the values in in the form of table from the total sample on the basis of VS because our population is, is stratified uh, on the basis by using the VS. So I'll write this one. As you can see, this is the table or it is a vector of N1 and N2, right? And then I will calculate WH. WH are the weights associated for the hth stratum. So WH can be calculated by using uh, sample collected from the hth stratum divided by total sample similarly for second uh, stratum also so i'll find out this wh also as the sample size is, is same in both the stratum weight will also be same right after ob uh, obtaining this nh and wh to estimate the mean i will use this strata mean function right this also comes under the, the this uh, package sampling book package okay so by using this strata mean function and by putting this these arguments in this what are these arguments why is the total sample size and as we are interested in knowing the mileage of cars so i will write total sample data dollar mileage comma h h is the vector of strata so it is the vector and vector of strata means there are two strata based on the vs so i'll write it as dot vector total sample data dollar vs comma wh wh we have already obtained so we'll write wh is equal to wh okay and then um first i'll run this one wh and then i'll run this one so you can see uh, in the output it is giving the estimated stratified mean this is the average mileage of cars um, obtained using stratified sampling by using the proportional allocation and this is the respective standard error and this is the 95 percent confidence interval you can interpret your results accordingly right so by default um, the, by default this eae value is false so if it is false then we get this outcome this output okay but if we make it true 
EAE is equal to true. So it will give the extensive output about all the stratum separately and after combining the stratum. Okay. So let us see how the output is coming here. So you can see here we, we are getting the, the, the means for both the stratum, stratum 1 and stratum 2 and the combined also. So this is my stratified mean 20.08 and this is the mean obtained for first stratum, estimated mean for first stratum, estimated mean for second stratum and these are the standard errors and this is, these are the confidence interval so if if we want all these things um, uh, in the output then we can use ea is equal to true and if we want only the, the stratified mean and standard error and the confidence interval we can use ea is equal to false as we did earlier so this is how you can um, analyze your data in r by using a stratified I hope the video is helpful to you. If you found my video helpful, please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.